Welcome back to Tied Up with the Morgans. So, um, today, it's been a busy one. Um, I didn't get any video of it because we've just been moving all day. But uh, we're really coming along here on the chicken run. I'll show you what we got. We did quite a bit. Um, let me turn the camera on. Here's where we're at right now. Just uh, putting some 2x4s across the top here. We're spacing them out every two feet. We need to get a couple more 2x4s, but I got a few over there. I should be able to get three more across. I, th I think I might just need one more on top. So we're doing that just to make it real nice and strong. Putting the chicken wire across that. Uh, on top it's going to be four foot wide chicken wire. Um, or I guess four foot tall is what you would say when it's in a roll. So it's four feet. So we're putting that across there, the top. And then here on the sides will be three feet. Because um, it's six feet tall, so we'll do three feet here on the sides. But anyways, uh, we're going to put a gate right here. This is where the gate will be. But this is going to be a really nice, nice size run. And uh, there's been comments saying we need to, you know, move them to different spots so it's better for the grass. I do plan to build some sort of like a chicken tractor, um, something like that, to get the chickens in so we can move them around uh, more other than just here. So, uh, but I've been watching a lot and reading a lot of different things on like composting ideas and uh, uh, people putting in like wood chips and then it. it the chickens the way they turn it you know all day long they're they're such good workers all day long they're working they're turning that up and they can really make good compost uh for a garden or whatever so anyways um yeah this is it and so on top of that we also leveled the coop for real this time um because this was all level right the run that we're building but before you saw that that coop was not at all um but we we cut the legs shorter in the front and uh, it's real nice and level now so that helps it just looks a lot better it's nice and square and yeah so we're moving along pretty good right now i'm cutting up some two by fours to throw on top and then uh throw on some more of the chicken wire on the top and hopefully uh, by the end of this we can get to i think around here and that's where we will have that so I think then I'll need the last 2x4 right here. We'll be out of 2x4s, uh, I believe. So, yeah. Um, moving all day long since this morning. I've uh, been out working hard, um, doing things in the garden, doing things here in the chicken coop. Just haven't had any video going because it's just been non stop. Uh, so I apologize for that. Uh, the kids were out here. Ty was out helping all day. And then about 1 o'clock, he went inside. I said, do you want to eat? Sorry. I said, do you want to eat? About one o'clock. And uh, he immediately started heading up to the house. So he was hungry. He's tired. And he's sleeping in the AC right now. And uh, yeah, so we're out here working now. Um, I went and I had some lunch with him too. Uh, I think that's it. That, that's a little update. I caught you up to speed, so now I'll show you. Well, I guess I showed you what we're going to do, so we'll get to it. We're going to start cutting those 2 by 4s and uh, getting the chicken wire on. And yeah. Also, uh, as I was eating lunch, right before I came out, there was a single tur turkey walking through here, kind of checking things out. He was staring at this stuff, and yeah. Um... <clears throat> Not often are they alone, but the last two or three years, we've had one turkey that's been alone every year. I don't know if it's the same one, probably not, or if, uh, you know, this some turkeys just keep getting unlucky and the rest of his flock's getting taken out. It's very likely there's a lot of predators around here. That's why this uh, run's so important to predator proof. And there were a lot of people that did ask in the last video, or not asked, told me, you know, we need to cover the top if we have any predator, like hawks or owls. We have a lot of those. While we were working on it this morning, there was three big red-tailed hawks just circling. Um, they're always here flying around. So yeah, that's why we're putting the good netting on top or fencing, you know, to, uh, yeah, we, we, we don't want to be dealing with any hawks. So they are lethal. Chicken's a good food. So, yeah, that's the plan. Okay. 
Now we're going to uh, cut this at uh, 102 and just under a quarter. So get this out. So I've always got a lot I can improve on, especially when it comes to the channel and ideas. And I'd say this is one of them, is the camera angles on things like this. I, my dad's he's pretty good at it, but man, as I'm doing this, I think it might be a boring clip, so I apologize if it is. But, uh... I'm really impressed. The camera did not fall off. I have the camera on the board. I, I thought for sure it was gonna fall. Okay, we'll take this over. And I'm probably gonna turn the camera off right now because I don't think I can uh, take you with me while I'm carrying this up a ladder. Before I throw this up there, be sure to take this off because it drives me nuts. Nothing worse. Uh, okay, there's a lot of things worse, but a little pet peeve of mine is, you know, you have a completed project and then you got these little staples and stickers on them, so I've been making sure to get all those taken off, especially on the uh, outside of this here, the run, the siding and stuff, whenever they're butting up against each other, we want to be perfect, so we are pulling all these out. So I'm going to take that out and then I'll throw it up. Staples removed, it's actually from the other end, and uh, also making sure that the crown is down, so... We got that pointed down, now we can throw it up. Also, this bur oak here, I didn't think survived. Here it is. I don't know, I think you can see. It is starting to bloom. I knew oaks, oaks bloom late, but this one was really late. And uh, we will take it, I'm excited for it. So, originally I was gonna move it, but, but I don't know if this coop will be here for, you know, 20 years like it to be but who knows so rather than taking the tree out rather than moving it and disturbing it i'm gonna let it go i think it's gonna be quite some time before this thing causes problems yes very close but i mean they don't grow very fast so it's not a fast growing tree so it's actually a rather slow one so yeah i'm just gonna leave it we'll deal with that in 30 years all right so now that I have the 2x4 up there, I am going to secure it with the nail gun. This is actually my dad's nail gun. I don't have one. We'd like one. We don't have one right now. So this is a DeWalt 20 volt. It sure does the, uh, does the job just fine. But I will not be uh, filming that because I don't... Something about a ladder and a nail gun and a camera just doesn't work with me but I mean all I'm doing is driving a nail in real quick so you're not missing much all right we got Bob. there he is Bob. you can do it did you sleep good I forgot to mention earlier, it is 90 today, so it's hot. So that's why I, I emphasized earlier that he was sleeping in the AC, because it is 90 degrees today, and it's a hot one. Well, I got those uh, two by fours up, so I just need one more for right here, and then I believe all we have left to do is just build the uh, door. The gate. Uh, it'll be a three foot gate. Uh, our wagon will be able to fit in and out and that'll help with uh, cleaning out the run and everything so that's real important. Um, and Ty found this pencil and he's just been drawing all over the place. And someone else is awake. Oh Kate, look, when she came down the hill. <laughs> Good morning! Her and Kate just went to Costco and Thea took a nice long little... Actually, it wasn't very long, right? No, not at all. Yeah. But she's here. She's ready. She does this when she's reaching. I have 
have a lot of meat to cut, but seems like it's not gonna work right now. Yeah, Kate got a whole bunch of meat from Costco, and it's gotta cut all that up. Wait, Kate, tell them how you how you do that. What do you do? What do I do? What do you mean? So you, you have meat to cut. Why? Because I buy a bunch of meat at one time and it will last long like at least three to four months mm -hmm. so that way i don't have to run to the store and grab like ten dollars ten dollars every time yeah so she gets a whole bunch at costco yeah, it cuts it up packages it we have a vacuum sealer now too mm -hmm. which is nice yeah. uh, so she portions it all out and it's really easy on nights when you know uh -huh. you're like I'll be downstairs and she'll ask me to grab, out of, we have a few different freezers, but she'll ask me, grab a yeah. bag of pork or beef or, you know, and ground meat, whatever. I'm planning to make a meatballs tonight too, if you want to check out the old, my favorite, old video that how I make, because um, sometimes it's really busy, so I just, I can't just tell Levi, eat the meatballs, so just fall and throw in the pasta sauce. And that's it. And I love it. Mm -hmm. She makes the best meatballs. <laughs> All right. Well, Kate, I was just telling them I got the. We just need one more two by four. Jake right is checking out the run. He's seen the chicks a few times, and he doesn't doesn't mind. Yeah. But anyways, here was for a tie was drawing. This would be fun, Kate, to have the kids stand and get their height. See how much they grow every year. In less than a week, Thea's one year old. Ty's working with the uh, needle nose pliers. Everything okay? I'm talking to Ty. All right, this side's secured. I didn't have, uh, when I made the video earlier, I didn't have all of the uh, fencing here stapled in, so I have that now. Um, I was about to throw some more on, but I have some really patient kids. So we're gonna go for a short little walk. Because they have been so good. Saying bye to mom, huh? Bye. Bye. Nice flowers. You guys having a good time? Mm -hmm.